Okay, you got Mark from Aussie Heads and Race Engines again. Project 396-434, so to speak, for marketing reasons. Um, we've got her off the uh, engine stand after we've uh, measured it all. And we've got it on the, um, the mill. And this is my mill anyway, the taper mill. Pretty easy. Um, just basically got an old flywheel. Um, on a column, it's actually a, like a universal mill, you can actually bring out a column out here and run an arbor through, have a slab mill, um, or just do what I've got here, just just old holding flywheel, and um, got a ceramic tool in here, and basically just to get it straight, we just got to knock the um, block this way, that way, to get it latitudinally correct this way that way you know they put the jack under here which is they're pretty right because it's 90 degrees anyway so that's how it's set up on a 90 degrees plane as you can see there um it's only a couple of foul there so put a jack under there that also stops vibration so that's all cool so what we said before when we done our deck heights remember this leading bank this one was 10 foul below and at this end it was six. So what I've done is um, offset it four foul. So it's gonna be four foul. It's gonna cut more off this end than this end. So by the time we zero deck it, our pistons will be zero and zero because they're 10 below here and six here. Um, here's my dial here. Got it set there. You can see it's 10 on the dial. All right, we'll make a bit of noise and I'll just show you how it, how it rolls. So that's at 10, all right, as we just wrap it, traverse it along. So it's just going along there. We go up to this end. We've got this end here, and you can see here, and the light, but that's on six. So, that's what we got, 10 and 6. So that's how I'm going to offset it. So it'll take four more foul off this end than that end. So basically what we're doing now, that dial is zeroed. I can, um... So that's basically it. Throw a set up. So what we'll do now, I'll just bring my tool in closer. Might as well fire her up. Bring it around again. Close. All right. Now, you know, this is very uh, delicate, this operation. Like I said, we're only you know, taking six hour off this end and 10 hour off the other. Um, plus, you're allowing for factory finishes too. Like, you can, I've machined some blocks that up to, you know, six to eight hour from some factory decks that uh, just the, the way the tools are and you know sometimes because they're, they're mass produced they run through a hundred blocks and the, you know the hundred block the same, same tool blunt tool shit finish and wavy finish so when they're in a shop like this everything's just yeah back to perfect and that's what blueprinting's about again I know I use the word a lot but that's what we, that's how we roll that's what we do so I'll just wind this in just they're in thousands of increments here. So just wind it in until she just touches the bee stick. Use your ears here. All right, it's just touching there. All right, I'm going to take so there we'll just take a four foul cut. Lock up our column. And then we'll put our feet on. That just goes through now on the slow speed, so that's basically the, the machine there. I'm gonna come back here and I'll show you. There's not much to it really once they're set up. What everyone's got to understand though, doing this sort of stuff, you've got a big massive block that weighs, you know, like 100 kilos or whatever. 
here we are trying to set it up parallel the way I've done it now like I can set things up when you understand measurements especially when we're working Imperial which I do old school um, thousandths of an inch is two, uh, one inch which is 25.4 you can hear it now ticking away let's take my fourth hour cup um, yeah, one inch is 24.5 millimetres, but one inch is one. Divide that into a thousand times is one foul. One of your hairs on your head measures actually two thou in diameter. Um, what most guys can do, or I can do anyway, is actually machine and set up tolerances to within a tenth of a thousand of an inch. That means you can split human hair 20 times, believe it or not, on something big and massive like this. So that's us for now. I'll just take, um, I'll do this cut. Like I said, set it four. And I'll take another six, a six hour cut. Finish it off and then we'll do the other deck. Um, and then um, we'll uh, pull it off the machine, give it a bit of a wash and start tapping out all our holes and um, final prepping this beast um, for the parts to come back from the engine balances. So that's all from uh, Aussie Heads. Catch us later.